Hello friends, family, and fans. I'm Harder DM. We are back playing Dark Souls 2. So last time I raged out while we went, made, through, made our way through the Hunter Corpse. We battled the Executioner Chariot as well as the Skeleton Lords. So finally we made our way to Harvest Valley, which is a big poison area. And uh, yeah, let's see how we'll do there. So let's jump in. Whoop. Alright, so we just got here. I lit the bonfire already. That's all nicely done. And we have a friend here. Hello, friend. Are you a traveler? Kind of. I'm Cloan, an ore stone trader. Cool. I travel about collecting rare stones, which I sell to make my living. Fantastic. I never planned to visit this godsaken place. <laughs> but I don't know. I just sort of ended up here. Cool. I must have just wandered in. <laughs> All right. But now that I'm here, I've been scouting around for rare bits. Oh, don't look at me like that. Like what? Many of these stones are quite useful. For instance, certain stones are used in smith. Oh. Oh, now your ears prick up. <laughs> yes, they do. Have extras if you can pay. This is my trade, after all. <laughs> cool. All right, what do we got? She, oh, she has just tight night shards. All right, let's, uh. So it actually turns out that she's actually the daughter of the blacksmith. Uh, who just goes off and wanders and such like that. So, yeah, that's her. All righty. Well, this place looks like crap. Hey, you there. Lightning! <laughs> oh, lightning is great. Alright, so there's a bunch of stuff down there. And honestly, you have to take a lot of poison damage to... Or a lot of poison to uh, get it all. So instead, I'm just gonna whoop, run right through there. Normally I'd grab all that stuff, but I just don't have the time right now. It's all a bunch of like low level stuff anyways. Oh yes, this place. Oh. I hit the wrong button. There we go. Lightning! Hey buddy. Alright, let's see if we can get this dead queen. Oh look, she's wearing the same gear that I wore in Dark Souls 3. <laughs> Whoop. There we go. Ugh, go away. There we go. That's how to deal with these guys. All right, what do we got? Yeah, those sorceresses are super annoying to battle. Ooh, hexing her. So if you can hit them from with long range attacks, like a uh, like spell, it's fantastic. There we go. And pop this baby down. There we go. Now this opens up, and what do we have right to our right? Oh, that's right, it's another bonfire. Oh yeah! Do not hit these pots, they're filled with poison. Trust me, you will thank me if you're going through this area and you're all like, I can just roll with these pots. Oh wait, Harder D said don't touch those pots, so if you listen, you won't be poisoned. Oh, come on. My lightning goes like, no death? Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> Alright. Alright, what do we got? Hello? Oh, please. Oh, thank you. This one too, please. Really need you to open this. Thank you. There you go. If you, there. 
Now you can grab all the goodies in here. Alright. Cool. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. Like there's a little guy on top of him and he's totally riding him. Whew. There we go. And if you're feeling really brave, you can jump down here. But then you have to uh, go through the poison. Let me tell you, that poison is difficult to get through. It is like impossible to see anything. There we go. Just follow the stream of death. Oh, there's skeletons down here, because they needed to make this place even more difficult, huh? There we go. That part is done. Part two. Go into here, don't die. Oh, come on! There we go. Fine, I'll just lightning them. Oh, wrong button. Oh, wrong button severely! Whoop! Don't mind me, just gonna run past all ya. There we go. Make sure that you're just electrocuting all these guys. There's no reason to let them not be electrocuted. And one more. There we go. Easily overrun if you're not careful. But, you know, we're powerful. We don't need to be careful if we're powerful. <laughs> and this is why we die. <laughs> Alright, bunch of ant random items chilling around. Make sure to pick all those up. Those spices, the simpleton as well as the skeptic, those are both um, for reducing the amount of requirements spells would need. So if you're only going to 40 intelligence, but you need a, like a spell that takes like 50 some, then it's a good idea to use those to lower the cost of the usage. I mean the requirements. There we go. Oh, there's a dude here. Piss off. Jeez. Just get in my way. Death ahead, therefore pull back. Yeah, that looks like a giant pit of death. I'm okay not jumping down there. Petrified something. Well, thanks for the information there. I was confused of what it could be. Alright. We're going to have a nice rest. And we're going to continue on. No, why do you select the wrong one? No, you stupid. What the hell? Can you not just hit something that's right in fucking front of you? God, that pisses me off so much. There we go. Take down this big guy. Who's throwing spells at me? Jesus, like coming from all the way up there. Oh, watch out for this fat guy. There you go. Oh, yeah. Ow. Like seriously, they're hitting me from all the way like up there. That's why you can't see them. Alright, alright. Oh, cool little thing. We're gonna go. We're gonna take a quick jog to the left here. And what do we discover? We just. Oh, nope. That's a that's a blank way. It is the Shrine of Sunlight. Yay! Learn just to praise the sun, y'all. Yeah, I'll be a sunlight bro. There we go. We are now a sunlight bro. Hold on, let me uh, get this all. Oh, that is not what I want. Uh, change to praise the sun. Woohoo! Praise the sun! Yeah! That was worth it. 
And to anyone else who wants to be a Sunlight Bro, there you go. You now know where they are. Poison, I hate poison. But for this dude, he's just gonna walk through there like it's nothing. There we go. Come on, buddy. Ah, another sword. Come on. What do you got, huh? You got lightning, that's what you get. Oh, jeez, she just bombed me. See what I mean? They have secret attacks. All right, anything else around here? Ow, where'd you come from? Why do you not have a head? I don't like it. I don't like things that don't have heads. Heads are kind of a must for me. It says it on my dating profile. It's all like, require a beautiful smile, a wonderful personality, and also a head. <laughs> like, unless you can do a really good headless horseman cosplay, no, I need a head. Oh, shite. Ugh. Rude. Oh, just for a torch. That's rude. Alright. Let's heal up. There we go. And now we're gonna fight one of the dumbest bosses in this game. It is literally like a giant slug. There it is. It in its beautiful glory. Now, fun fact about this thing, only I've heard, is that if you stay towards the bitey end, which, you know, it starts so you should avoid the bitey end, apparently it can, can, like, bite you, and it will try to, like, unequip your gear. I wouldn't know, because I never stayed towards the bitey end. As I'm currently facing down the bitey. Alright, alright. Come on, roll for fun's sake! All I ever want is just a game that actually responds to your inputs. Like when you hit roll, your character rolls out. That's all I want. I don't think it's too much to ask. Pretty much I'm just spanking this thing until it dies. There we go. Yep. Nothing great. Covetous demon soul. Nothing great, nothing powerful. Just just slow and annoying. Like it is more of a speed bump than it is a boss. There we go. Okay, so now that we got we're healed up, uh, I wonder if the name changes in this place. Oh no, I don't remember. What do we got? Oh hey, oh more headless dudes. There we go. There we go. I should really get like a sweeping weapon or something. Oh. Cool, I did that. I don't know what that did, but I did it. Radiant life gem. Very nice. Oh, uh, these guys are kind of a dick. I hit the wrong button. I mean, I hit the wrong button. Don't, don't, ledges. There you go. Just gonna walk right on past that. Watch out for these guys. Come on, just slash your stupid weapon. All I need you to do. 
There we go. And of course I'm poisoned. When they eat that poison. Oh, summoning symbol. Cool. Alright. You know, it's funny because I'm not a fan of this place either. Not like the other place. The other place is a flaming pile of trash. I'm referring to the Black Gulch. So, that's not so bad. But I still have to say, this place is not one of my favorites. There we go. Walk through this fog gate, and voila, another bonfire. But here's the more important thing: how to turn off the uh, how to turn off the poison flowing everywhere. That is, how, well, you just got to take a flame and head off over here and set the whole thing on fire. See? That's what you do when something is stupid and poisonous. You burn it. Burn it horribly. And that will make the whole place, well, stop being on fire. I mean, stop producing poison. There we go. Everything slows to a stop. Beautiful. See? Boop. There we go. Much better. Oh, this door is open. Yeah, there we go. I need a faster weapon. Try illusionary wall. Well, you can't. Because you can put something in the way. Oh, yeah, this guy. I forget. So, fun thing, you come over here, sit with some spice, move along this ledge, kill this dude. There's actually a guy over here. What's up, ladder man? You might remember this guy because I pointed him out in Dark Souls 3. Shush. You Egypt. Stay quiet. You call me I'm Egypt? On the run. Don't give me away. You're Why are you holding your, your belly? Toe, eh? Yeah. Why else would you be here? It's got death written all over it. I hear you. Death and poison. You want to climb down? Oh, I can let go there. Why, oh, yep. Have you not? I, I let... Ugh. Uh -huh. There we go. This is actually how you're supposed to get into the, uh, the gutter. Is this guy gives you a... This guy gives you a ladder, and you can actually climb down relatively easily. But we said no to that. Ah, uh, go on ahead. There we go. He gave us a nice little ladder. Boop. There we go, and over here... ...is some Twinkling Titanite and a Pharaoh's Lockstone. Definitely worth the two thousand he asked for uh, building a ladder. There we go. Oh. Burn gesture. What? There we go. Use up his uh, talk so that way he heads over to. Uh... There we go. Find it. Now he'll be going back to. Now he'll be going to Majula. There we go. What do I want to do? Not step on that platform. That's probably my first bet. Let's head this way. Hello, random ghosts guy. Oh, so here, this is actually pretty interesting. We're going to make this thing raise up, because underneath, I believe, is a chest or just an item to pick up. Come on. There we go. Then you're just going to want to head back over here before it drops. If you're caught under that, you can imagine it will die. Oh man, I'm so freaking bad. Come on, come on, come on. I'm so bad at uh, freaking uh, swinging this thing. Like, only my character can swing this thing in, like, a giant arc and still miss. Don't you fuck off! 
off! Suck your own dick! Suck your dick! Oh. Well, that was a barrel of fun. <laughs> I do find that most of the time that I'm playing this, I'm just being all like, ugh, ugh. That, listen to how I usually play Dark Souls, though. I'm running through levels to get to the good levels. Like this level, not a good level. Uh, come on, where is it? There we go. Oh, fuck off. There we go. Okay. You guys dead. You should all be dead. Mannequin mask. Just so you guys know, these guys are the mannequins. You know, the guys who don't have heads. It's their mask that I acquired. How the poop do I know what their mask looks like? Alright, now this place, you can imagine, I hate this place too. At least after all this bullcrap, are you kidding me? After all this bullcrap, I actually go to my favorite level, which is awesome. So, I at least have that going for me. Alright, I'm gonna lightning some bitch. There's some bitch, here's some lightning. Are you kidding me? Go the fuck away! There. Oh. I'm fine, I'm cool, I'm zen. Very zen. So lightning at this girl. At this lady. Oh, she dropped something. Magic stone. Boo yeah. That's awesome. Alright. Now I could go up that way, which will probably lead me to unhappiness and misery. Or I'm going to come down here and not target the thing on the floor. I don't care about the stupid crap on the floor. Why can't you just hit something? I'm still saying whoever, uh, I'm still cursing out whoever decided that spells needed to use, um, spells needed to use, oh, what you call it, um, stamina. That was a dumb move. There we go. Do you want... I'm even bringing a friend. Just because I'm really tired of this place. Yeah, just so you know, up there is a bonfire. So you can actually head up there. So that way you don't have to go all this way around. I'm just trying to get through this level. Because I hate this one too. Oh, stuff. And we have a jester with us. A jester. Yeah, you kill that floor. Hmm. Teach you the lesson. Alright. Now that that's done with, let's take on a boss. And what do we have? We have a headless Medusa. I guess it's not a Medusa. I guess it's just a, uh... Oh, that's not. It's not really a Medusa. It's more of just a gorgeous. Ow! Are you kidding me? I say that a lot. I didn't realize that. There we go. Grr, lightning! <laughs> Good job, Jester. There we go. We made mince meat out of her. There we go. So yeah, we're just getting out of this area because I do not like it. It's annoying, it's dumb, and it's a lot of work. Whee! Up the elevator we go!
and we ascend further into the heavens, closer to where my godhood stands. Alright, this elevator's taking forever. There we go. Ah, perfect. And welcome to the Iron Keep. My favorite place in the game. You know, besides lava, of course. There we go. Perfect. But guys, that's all we have time for today. We're going to have to continue this on next time. Thank you so much for joining me. Come along on the next adventure when I upload my next episodes. You can subscribe so you guys know when that those are coming out. And until next time, you have yourself a great evening. Bye-bye.